Hi everyone, this is Dr. Seibold. Uh, I'm here today to go over the basic function and, and operation of the eye care tenometers. We now have two models in clinic um, available today. There's the IC100, the original model, and then the newer IC200 model. And you'll see both of these in the various clinic pods. So this will be a refresher for some of you. It may be an introduction for others, but we'll go over the basic function of each of them, starting first with the IC100 model. So there's two basic fun functions here. There's a play button on the back and then a stop button on the side with the screen on the side. This is the probe base where the probe is inserted into. And then you have the forehead rest with the adjustment wheel here. So uh, before you use the device, you can adjust the forehead base based on the patient's facial anatomy. You can either have it withdrawn uh, or extended as far as you need to. Um, once you have that approximately uh, where you want it, you can turn the device on by holding the play button in the back. You hold that for three seconds until you hear a beep and you'll see the screen come on. And it will prompt you to load a uh, probe. So then you take a single use um, probe, remove the cap. You then invert the uh, eye care tonometer and carefully tip the probe down into the probe base and you'll see the light come on. You'll see a few pulses of the uh, probe. So with the IC100, one of the key features is that you have to keep the probe perfectly horizontal in order to take a measurement. And you'll know when you're horizontal because this green light will indicate to you when you're at the appropriate leveling. So if you tilt the device too far down, you'll see the light go red indicating you can't take a reading. If you're perfectly horizontal, it'll go back green, indicating it's ready to test. And if you tilt up too high, just the same, the light will return to red, indicating a reading cannot be made. So with the IC100, you have to keep it nice and horizontal and make sure you have a green light. You'll see a play button flashing on the screen. This indicates you're ready to take a measurement. And then it takes a series of six readings, which you can take one at a time by pushing the play button. And each time you'll see the probe pulse out. You can do that a series of six times or you can hold it down and it'll take six rapid readings in succession and then give you an average reading on the side. Now a couple error readings which you see one here already too far. So if you're too far away from the eye it'll give you a, a short quick double beep and say too far or likewise if you're too close it'll give you the same warning beep and say too near and then you need to adjust your position. You want the probe to be about four to eight millimeters away from the cornea to get an accurate reading here. Now for the IC200, uh, a lot of the same features. You see the same play button, the same stop button, it's a little smaller here, the same probe base and forehead rest. You'll turn it on in the same manner by holding the play button until the screen comes on. It'll give you the date and time and then prompt you to load a probe. So similarly, we'll take a new probe, invert the tonometer and tip that into, uh, into the probe base, and then we'll get a green light. Now, one of the new features with the IC200 is you don't have to hold it perfectly horizontal to get a reading. You can do it like that, or you can actually completely invert the device or hold it vertically and it can still take a reading. Now, if you tilt it up, again, you're gonna get a red light. It won't take a reading, but everywhere from perfectly horizontal to perfectly vertical, you'll still see that green light indicating you can still get a reading. So you can measure patient's pressure while they're either reclined or completely lying on their back. Again, you'll see a flashing play sign indicating that you're ready to take a reading. There's also an OD and OS on the screens. So you can save these readings um, depending on which eye you're measuring. So you can arrow over to select OD or arrow over to the right to select OS. Now, because we don't really look at these readings in clinic uh, specific to one patient, you really don't need to do that. You can uh, just take a reading as soon as you load the probe. And you'll do that in, in exactly the same way. Hold down the play button and either take a series of six individual readings or hold it down and let it take six rapid readings in succession. The other difference you'll see is on the screen, it's gonna give you a pressure reading 
it with a decimal point. So it'll give it down to the 10. So instead of just 11, it'll read 11.2. And when you're recording that, you only need to really record the whole number. So I would say just round to the nearest whole number. So if it's less than 11.4, we round it down to 11. If it's 11.5 or higher, then you'll round up to 12. Okay, so now we're ready to take our reading. This is our volunteer, Dr. Hertel. Uh, you can see a flashing play button indicating that we're ready to take a reading. Um, so first we'll adjust the forehead measurement until we're approximately four to eight millimeters away from the eye. And once it takes six readings, you'll hear a long single beep, and it'll give you the average reading on the screen, which you can record. Now with the iCare 200, much in the same way, you wanna see the flashing play sign. You're gonna adjust the forehead in a similar fashion. Again, you'll get a long beep and a pressure reading. If the circle lines around there are green, that's a high, re highly reliable reading. If they're yellow, it's borderline, you should probably repeat that. So we're gonna repeat that again. And now I have a reading of 12.7 with a green circle indicating a more reliable reading. And then when you're done with uh, the measurement, uh, you hold down the stop button until the probe is released, and then you can dispose of that in the trash can. And that is the same for the IC100 or the IC200 model. And that's the basic features of uh, the eye care tonometer. I hope this was helpful. Uh, and um, let any of the providers know if you have questions on further use. Uh, and have a great day. Thank you.